Hi, this is Ron. I'm here with uh, Bruce and Betsy Mullen, who are fantastic entertainers. They travel all up and down, especially the, the West Coast, I imagine, isn't it? Uh, and on your way down here, uh, we, they live in Washington, so they make a trip down here in the motorhome yeah. right, uh, for the winter. Right. And then in the summer, we work a lot of the county fairs. And Through Montana, like Wyoming, Oregon, Washington, um, wherever I'll hire us. You guys get around, I'll tell you, that's unbelievable how you can manage to uh, be that energetic and put on all those shows. But I imagine you're having fun. Yeah, well, we, do. We, we are having fun, but that's all I know. That's all I've done all my life, so that yeah. seems natural, and I'm, I'm used to it. It, it, uh, it doesn't seem hard to me. I know people say, man, you got to carry in that equipment and everything, and I, I get to thinking, my cousins race greyhound dogs, and I'd sure rather carry those speakers <laughs> than a <laughs> <the> greyhound. Right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Uh, of course, uh, you know, a lot of folks probably don't know that you were an auctioneer at one time when, in your younger days. Uh, and most, most people wouldn't know that. <laughs> no, but you know, it kind of comes out in some of your songs, like the auctioneer song, which is my favorite. And... Uh, I mean, I've never, never heard anybody do it as well as you. Oh, I can remember when I was young, when that song kind of became popular. I tried to kind of copy that song and do it as a young kid. And you know, you, you get all tongue-tied, twisted. You know, when you get into it, you don't do that. You're just, uh, it just comes out of you like, it just flows out of you. So uh, I've been doing that a long time. <laughs> yeah, you can tell that you've, uh, you've done it before. I used to practice on the old John Deere tractor out there on the farm, Did singing you? that song. And my sister one time said, you know, said, said I heard you before I heard the John Deere tractor. <laughs> wow, that's great. Yeah. So you're kind of a farm boy, too. Yes, raised on a farm. Yeah, you know, a lot of us were, you know, uh, uh, raised on a farm and, and then... Uh, in later years, you kind know, of became a town folk, you know. So, but the farm life is always there. Oh yeah, you never, can't, you never can't take that. the country out of the person. No. You know, you you guys write so many songs, and and the one song that, uh, but I haven't heard this one. Call on him. Can you tell us a little bit about that story on that song? Well, I uh, I wrote another auctioneer song. There was an auctioneer song years ago that was a big record by Leroy Van Dyke. And then I wrote another one, and I was in the national charts for a while with it, and and uh, and I decided that I was going to take that same tune and write a gospel auctioneer. So that that's what the call on him is about. Oh, that's what the, that's a gospel. That's great. I, I'm really excited to hear that song, uh, which we're gonna we're gonna have on here at the end of the of the interview here. Um, and so, what inspired you to? get those words uh, into that song? Well, uh, Betsy and I have been recording uh, Christian Country, and I, I thought, you know, I need to write some more songs to fill out the album, and I thought, well, that would be that would be a good one to do. I wouldn't have to get permission to anybody, because I wrote wrote it myself anyway. So, there you go. So I just, I just changed the words and, and, uh, and, and rewrote the song. And it's apparently been doing well for you. It's on your CD. Uh, well, one of your CDs. Uh, how many CDs do you folks have? Well, we've. Of course, we've, you've been in the business a long time, so you probably lost track. <laughs> well, we we got two gospel CDs, and then we did another gospel CD of of the old time uh, standards that he had done years ago when and he was in Nashville. I then, have that on the CDs now. Uh, then we got some country CDs. Uh, we got a live show uh, on a CD, and then uh, got a CD of songs that I recorded through the years. Is Betsy, Betsy, do you sing along with him on this song, or is this pretty much Bruce's? Uh, um, I believe I do. Do you? You do some on harmonies some on there with him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, boy, the harmonies, they really add to the song, too. Oh, they, they do. Especially when you have such a beautiful voice like you have. Oh, it, thank it, you. It really comes across. Thank you. Um, so we're, um, we're uh, anxious to hear this song. So we're going to have, uh, have it played here now. And, uh, and I hope we can get a real good response. We need to have people
keep you in mind so they'll start increasing the purchase of your CDs. And that's kind of the gist of this radio show that we do is to get you some exposure so you can start selling some of these and hopefully people will you know, hear you and, and want to see you in person. So uh, they can contact us here and, uh, and, and we'll refer those contacts to you so that you can probably get some more shows. Because uh, I know there's many, many people out there that would just be thrilled to hear you two in person. Just like me, uh, I enjoy every time I get, get a chance to hear you. And I see you coming in the door. There comes Bruce and Betsy. We get to hear them today. So here's Bruce uh, with his song, Call on Him. Thanks, Bruce, Betsy. Thank you.